When much of the world went into recession last year, no country melted down faster than Iceland, dragging down three major banks with it. The only bank to operate in the black is run by women. So does gender make a difference in the financial world? Here's Sheila McVicker. Iceland's collapse was the fastest in history, with 85% of the economy wiped out in weeks. There was only one financial institution, Outer Capital in Iceland, that did not lose money for its customers. Founded by two women on the investment principle of, if we don't understand it, we're not buying it, there's a lot of talk here about the difference it would have made if more women were on the trading floors. It's been 99% men that wanted to take risk, wanted speed, wanted individual rewards and excessive rewards. There's new evidence emerging that some of what happens on trading floors may be partly the result of male hormones. When testosterone levels get too high, traders become overconfident, take too much risk, and the bubble bursts. Women, they think, what's good for the whole? Well, men, more, they think, what's in it for me? It's a provocative question being debated around the globe. Where would we be if it had been Lehman sisters? So do you think any of this would have happened if women had been in charge in 2008? I thought we had created a world that was on an empty pursuit for more. And I had a question about if this growth journey we had been on was really a successful business strategy that I had somehow missed during my MBA education. Is it a relentless pursuit for getting big? Or is this the great big penis competition?